Now, so today we figured we would give you some pointers uh, that we've learned over the years on how to, how to kind of keep track of that trip um, so that when you get back uh, and, you know, six months have gone by, a year or two, three, four years have gone by, and somebody says, oh, wait a minute, didn't you guys go on an ABC cruise? You have some way of recalling the memories mm -hmm. besides, you know, obviously, you know, we say ABC cruise and, you know, two or three things popped into each of our head. But if you have a way to actually look at something and look back at it, you'll remember a lot more for a lot longer. Yes. First up. Oh, a travel journal. Cheryl's favorite. Not Captured. that she's ever done one. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's all up here. Anyway, capture your experiences, thoughts, and emotions on a daily travel journal. Yes, I love that. I, that's what we're doing this cruise, by the way. That's cool. Yeah. I, I think it's a great idea. Well, that's why yeah. I bought us the journals. Okay. So there are, Easy you know, you can just get, you know, a blank line journal. Um, a composition notebook, whatever. Yeah, I mean, right. Yeah, there are, uh, Amazon actually has journals that are specifically for traveling if you want to do that. So um, journals is great. Because they have refillables and you can label them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you can label anyway. But mm -hmm. anyway, yes. My favorite personally is um, this next one. It's photography. Um, I seem to rem I tend to remember things more when I can see a photo of it. Mm -hmm. And now for me, at least, just taking a picture of a beach. Yeah. Now that that you know. Okay. What beach was this? Where were we? When were? Yeah. Now, I like to take pictures with us, with, with the people that are on that cruise. Mm -hmm. um, be, I don't know, for whatever reason, seeing us, maybe it's the outfits we're wearing or <laughs> some, some aspect of, of seeing us helps me remember what beach it was, where we were, who we were with, what we did while we were there. Because I mean, I, we, we took a, a picture of the four of us. It was um, Cheryl and I, my mom, and my, my older son, uh, Sam. At Half Moon K, uh, Carnival's private island, and I took actually I had a, a somebody else take a picture mm -hmm. of us, you know, when we were kind of knee deep in the water, and for whatever reason, whenever I see that photo, I still remember the pirate ship blasting out that music mm -hmm. and all of the people walking up and down the beach, and this one particular couple who had these floaties, the f um, the noodles. No, not the noodles, like inflatable um, lounges kind of thing that they they were struggling to get in and out of. And it, so yeah, but the photographs with us in it um, tend to jog my memory more. Um, the funny photo with when we were in Roatan on the first cruise together from Jolly, Rod, Jolly Roger uh -huh. and the snorkeling guy. Oh, and okay. then okay. a few years later, we go on another cruise, and totally run... different destination. No, yeah. it was still Roatan. No, it wasn't. Yeah. We've only been to Roatan once. Honey. We've been to Roatan twice. Anyway, this is what show we're me the pictures. About. It's right up there. <laughs> um, anyway, and one of the people on that tour <laughs> was they were brothers, literally <laughs> brothers, yeah. and it was kind of crazy. I'm like, oh my god, but. It was, it was fun. So you just get, get, keep that going. Um, so the a, next one would be a printed the, itinerary. Yes. And you can, if you're crafty, you can cut it out. Mm -hmm. But um, to maintain the detailed itinerary with dates, locations, and activities that you have planned, which is another. No, it's kind of thing. along the same lines of the travel journal. But some people will literally, you know, once they plan their, their excursions and they're in the um, – the ship's app, you know, and, and, you know, um, they'll literally go in and they'll print out the itinerary pages, you know, showing the cruise line, the ship, the date, the island they were in and what excursions they did and just write notes on it. Another idea for that is um, if you don't have the paper one, take a screenshot of what you have used yep. in the app, sure. the ship app. Um, use a notes app. If you're very techy, you know, and you have your phone with you, um, use the smartphone app for quick notes and places visited, local recommendations, or interesting facts about said island. You can insert photos into those notes. Um, so, you know, those, the photos are right there where you have the notes from that. Mm -hmm. um, next up, you can um, map marking. So basically, you can mark the locations on a map um, in your smartphone or on a physical map. 
to visualize the route that the ship took and remember the key spots and how you're doing, you know, when, what you did there. And, um, they, a lot of these ideas kind of flow into each other, mm -hmm. like the travel journal can have a map list, you know, written right <laughs> in it, you know, or, or paste it in, you know, you, you can, can print put photos, own. right. Make it your own people. A lot of people tend, tend to do this one. Um, we do, we do too. Um, For shadow boxes, collect the keepsakes, you know, save the tickets from your excursions, mm -hmm. some brochures, uh, and <coughs> mementos, um, and create, you can create a physical scrap or scrap book, or we do, uh, shadow boxes, mm -hmm. um, where, you know, each cruise we, we go on, uh, we create a shadow box that's got at least a, you know, a couple of pictures of, you know, where we were and who we were with and, you know, any, RC you know, passes are yeah, in there. um, a little bit of, of the local ca uh, currency. Um, sometimes we'll add that, you know, it, it's, I, I personally love the keepsakes or, or the shadow boxes. And, you know, my goal is basically to create like a whole wall of keepsakes uh, of the shadow boxes for all of our cruises. Um, I just have to finish yeah. working on them. Yeah. She's kind of, you know, four cruises behind at this point. Listen. At least I admit it. Um, a digital diary. Create a digital diary or blog to share your experiences with others. It's a good learning tool for yep. everybody involved. Good. Social media up updates. Uh, a lot of people do this as a way to, um, you know, remember. So, you know, literally post a photo. Like, I'm pretty sure I posted the photo of us in Half Moon K uh, onto Facebook. And it's really cool where you know, on the anniversary of that, you know, it pops up that memory in Facebook. Um, so a lot well, of people use that. A safety precaution with that is if people do not know that you're out mm -hmm. of the country, wait until you get home to post the pictures about you being on a trip. The only challenge with that is then, you know, it's not on the actual date you were at Half Moon K, but you um, can put the date on your picture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can choose a combination of these methods to suit your preferences and ensure comprehensive records for your of your trip. Um, everybody's different. Some people don't like the tchotchke type of stuff, with but you know it's it's a way to make memories. Yeah, we we have keepsake wise, you know, besides the the shadow box, we also get magnet. a magnet for each destination mm -hmm. that we we stop in. Um, we use kind of a combination of things because. Mike, we, we remember flows. things differently again, you know, what? Um, yeah. so, so now that, you know, you, you, uh, you have a list of different ways to memorialize that cruise, check out the video we did recently about when to plan that amazing cruise. Yes. Have a good See day. Ya.